Model SDE Standard Duty Belt Drive Exhaust Wall Fan are designed to move large volumes of air quickly at relatively low pressures. In this short video, you will learn how the SDE comes to you, how to mount the motor and drive, and adjust it for performance if required. SDE are ideal for low to medium duty applications in large open buildings such as warehouses, parking garages, greenhouses, barns and gymnasiums. Your SDE wall fan comes in three boxes. Fan shell, motor and drive pack. This is the 1SDE42DB which is a 42 inch fan with half horsepower, dual voltage, single phase motor. Remove the packaging and lay out the parts. Read the OIPM before assembling or installing the fan. On the motor side of the fan is the motor label, which gives all the information for the fan. In this case, a 1SDE 42DB, or 42 inch wall fan with a Nidec motor, 115, 230 volt, 8.4 4.2 amps, 380 RPM, single phase. Check the requisite motor box and voltage wire for when fully assembled. Before any installation, turn the fan blade to ensure it rotates freely. Renew the two nuts and bolts holding the motor mount plate in its transit position. Place the motor base with the flanges up. On motors with side conduit boxes, Interference may occur, in which case turn the base over, flanges down. We will show bolt motor installations with this half horsepower motor. Using six one-inch long bolts, nuts and washers from the parts pack, install the motor mount plate. Remove from the parts pack four one-inch mounting bolts with washers and lock nuts for the motor and the key for the fan shaft. Install the variable pitch sheath on the motor shaft. Ensure it is fully closed and the lock screw is secured. Mount it onto the flat on the motor shaft and secure it with the lock screw. Some larger motors have their own key and keyway. The lock screw is then tightened onto the key. Install the fan shift. This particular shift has bushing Insert the bushing into the shiv and install the bolts finger tight only. The 
line up the keyways in the bushing and the fan shaft. You may require a soft headed hammer or block of wood to get the bushing onto the fan shaft. Align the keyway grooves and insert the key. Tighten the bushing bolts alternately until secure. Position the motor base with the end of the fan shaft approximately even with the outer edges of the frame tubing and align the motor with the holes in the base and secure with nuts and bolts. To install the fan belt, you may have to lift the motor plate to slip the belt onto the motor shim. Ensure the belt is vertically aligned. Tension the belt by pressing down on the motor mount plate. Proper tension is approximately one half inch of movement when pressed mid span under normal thumb pressure. Secure the motor mount brackets. With everything secure, the fan is now ready for installation. However, suppose this 14,000 CFM is too much for your application and you only wanted 13,800 CFM. Let me show you how to adjust the fan for performance. Basic fan control on fans with variable pitch adjustable motor shift is achieved by opening or closing the shift. Depending on the belt, the shift can be opened five or six turns. Using fan laws, varying the diameter of the motor shift increases or reduces the RPM or CFM. Knowing this, we can now dial in the required CFM RPM. Looking at our one SDE 24dB, we see it does 14,515 CFM at zero, which is more than we require. By using the calculation shown, we can see how many turns we have to open the motor shift to get the required RPM. In this case, one turn open equals 361 RPM. It is now easy to measure the RPM with a simple tachometer. Let's see how this works in practice. One minus parenthesis the desired CFM divided by catalog 14515 parenthesis off equals 
0.49%. Easy enough. Times 100 equals 4.92%. Or 5%, which is one turn open. Now we know it's running at 380 RPM, catalog value. Times 0.95 will give us a 5% reduction, which is 361 RPM for the catalog. That's what we look for. Turn on the fan and check the RPM. Note the safety standard. The actual RPM here is 395. Our actual RPM is 395. 5% reduction, so we multiply it by 0.95. So we're looking for 375 RPM actual value to get the RPM CFM requirement. To adjust the variable motor shift, disconnect power, slacken the motor clamps and remove the fan belt. To adjust the motor shift, slacken off the Allen screw, and open the adjustable shift one turn. Tighten up back on the flat. Connect the fan belt and tighten up the motor mount clamps. Start fan check the RPM. We see the RPM is 371 which will give the CFM required. All that remains now is to attach any accessories onto the fan or install it at your selected location. For help or assistance with motor and drive installation, please contact Fantech at the addresses below.